do some Python and hardware news. Yes, I'm ready. This week, in the newsletter, okay. the first thing is the CircuitPython 6.20 Beta 2 is released. Um, it is mostly for RP2040 and for ESP32 S2 base boards. Yeah, we've been doing a lot of work on them, fixing a lot of bugs. So um, if you're like, hey, why doesn't this thing work? Try the latest. <laughs> Okay, if you're a fan of Visual Studio Code, guess what? Use Raspberry Pi. I think with the Pi 400 in particular, that's a nice pairing. Yeah. Because you can code on, you know, a full desktop. And it's like really easy to install, too. Yeah. Like, don't even do funky. It yeah. comes in. And uh, we have different sections of the newsletter, especially as, you know, things uh, change. And by change, I mean, like, in a good way. So there's more chips that support CircuitPython now. So with MIDI baked into CircuitPython, all the new boards like the Raspberry Pi Pico you can use those for MIDI projects. So here's a drum machine with the Raspberry Pi Pico using CircuitPython. Here is a USB MIDI 16 channel step sequencer um, written in CircuitPython. This is 620. Uh, you can check out the tweet and the code on GitHub. And he made a MIDI controller using Raspberry Pi Pico and Pimeroni RGB keyboard with CircuitPython. And then uh, you can check out the uh, MIDI stuff on the forthcoming RP2040 powered Tiny2040 from Pimeroni. So that's CircuitPython as well. Yeah, we have we, MIDI. we just worked really hard to make early native USB support on CircuitPython work. So when people ask, like, hey, why don't y'all support the ESP8266 or ESP32 or other non-USB native chips? This is why. It's like we think it's really important for people to be able to use native USB stuff like HID or MIDI. Yeah. So you can check out all the MIDI stuff. And then there's keyboards. So um, we have a guide on essentials, CircuitPython essentials, using CircuitPython, HID keyboard, and mouse. Um, BLE HID keyboards with buttons in CircuitPython. Um, here's a few projects just in the past week. This is a Pi producer. It's a Raspberry Pi Pico based 12 key HDI uh, HID keyboard. Sorry. Yeah. It's cute. You can see all these things. Kinda I like, like the little icons. Yeah, here's a Pico producer OBS controller using Raspberry Pi Pico, 3D printed case, and CircuitPython. Here's a USB HID auto clicker with Raspberry Pi yeah, Pico and like CircuitPython. For, for like games if you want to kind of cheat a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, tweeting from a Raspberry Pi Pico using HID keyboard and CircuitPython. Wireless Bluetooth macro keyboard using Itsy Bitsy, NRF, NRF uh, 52840 and CircuitPython. And then we have our news around the web. You can check out all the different things going on here. This is a Pimeroni display with MicroPython, a uh, ring lamp with MicroPython. Here is the LED strips embedded in acrylic. Um, they're translucent, um, probably either MicroPython or CircuitPython. Um, this is a uh, overview of um, how he wrote an entire book in one year. <laughs> yeah, and keeping <laughs> and secrets. Documentation. Yeah, and um, secret from the book. Raspberry Pi folks. Uh, this is a Raspberry Pi two-factor authentication gadget. Build your own 3D printed ring light. Um, I thought this was neat. This is like a upgrade of a retro. Yeah. It, Dreamcast, but there's a, clue a there's a clue in the inside player. of it with a gift player, so it's animated. Yeah, this is so it's cool. an animated Sega Sega Dreamcast. Um, this is a RISC V ESP32 C3 C3 the RISC V core. Yeah, um, here is a Pico connected to a display. Look at all these libraries and Python. people are using them. Temperature and humidity with Circuit Python. Um, here's a Pi Portal, um, and then here is how instructions do you, in Japanese. Yeah, you can build uh, how to do the build environment. So when we do uh, a version of Circuit Python, we publish it out to all the different languages. Yeah, as well. Um, so, action-packed newsletter. There's a lot this week. It is chunky, as we say, um, on how we determine um, newsletters. Yeah. We have um, more board support. Um, I think, I don't know what the latest number is. It's in the hundreds. But uh, we're getting very, very close to 300 libraries. We have 298 mm -hmm. CircuitPython libraries at this time. And check out what the team's up to, what events are coming up, specifically PyCon, and more. And that is this week's... Python on Hardware News. Check out the newsletter, adafruitdaily.com. Sign up. It's for free. We don't spam. We don't store your email to do anything else with. In fact, the whole newsletter is on a completely separate site because we said, how can we demonstrate we don't in the best way possible that this has nothing to do with you purchase. We'll never do a pop-up thing on your, on your screen. So, um, you know, I know we're held to a different standard and maybe this standard will be the standard folks will request other companies do. But... Even if they don't, it doesn't matter. Adafruitdaily.com is the easiest way to 
keep up with this stuff each week. Correct. It won't hurt your feelings. And that's the latest news in CircuitPython hardware. Yeah. Okay. 